In this video, I'm going to show you the new character Muichiro, uh, the 2500 Robux character that is limited, and show you if you should actually buy him or if you should just stay away from him and buy like another character like uh, Shadow Monarch. So I'm gonna test him well in dimensions, I'm gonna see in every single game mode kinda, uh, compare him with some other characters, not everything, but just in raids and stuff and see how good he actually is um and i haven't tested a lot but from my testing i've gotten somewhat of an answer of how good he is and if you should actually buy him also if i had 25,000 subscribers i'm gonna make it muchiro giveaway so yeah i'm gonna give away this character if i had 25,000 subscribers and i'm really close to that so if you enjoy this make sure to subscribe all right so if we start with the first ability we have eight layered mist it's just a quick little move. It's a 8-hit combo, I'm pretty sure. Yes, 8-hit combo. Uh, the reason why it says more is because I, uh, I have Celestial on Mishiro, so I get Celestial Swords attack. But the 8 hits actually have 660,000 damage per hit, so that makes about 4.85 million damage. However, 50% of the time you uh, reset the ability, so basically you can use it twice or thrice, like in a row, 50% of the time. So Theoretically, you can do it infinite amounts, and it also gives you more damage. 50% of the time, you get the cooldown back, and the damage is 50% more. And now it's, you see it's 990,000 per. It was actually close to 100, uh, 1 million, so about 8 million damage for the first ability. And it's quick, it re you can reset it uh, occasionally. It doesn't give you a lot of energy, but it's quick, pretty strong, and 50% of the time, you reset it, so it's really good. Second ability, Lunar Dispersing Mist, is a jumping dash move. Not the best combo, like a jumping dash, but still pretty good. It's a 4-hit combo, each hit having about 2.6 million damage. Uh, and that makes it really strong. That's above 10 million damage for the second ability. The AoE is, like, it's it's okay. The AoE is okay. Uh, same with the first ability. The AoE is actually pretty good there. But second ability, pretty okay AoE. Um, doesn't give you a lot of energy, but it's not too bad. The damage is just really good, so it's not a bad move at it, uh, in any case. The third ability is Scattering Mist Splash, and this move is insane. So this move actually has a 100 hit combo. The AoE is huge, and it follows you around like this. You can literally uh, make it follow you. and. The craziest part is that it's literally a 100 hit combo. This hits 100 times on an enemy and each uh, each hit is 200,000. That's about two, uh, 20 million damage for one move that's not even a fourth ability. And if you have good enough CDR with Kurum and everything, this ability is going to be active for like all the time. You can probably get two of them at the same time. Now that's an insanely strong move, though one one bad thing with it is that the energy gain is really bad, even though it's 100 hits, the energy gain is so insufficient that it's like, it's not significant at all. It's insignificant and you don't like the first, second abil and third abilities, but not the best energy gains. But still, if you can spam this uh, with Kurumi, spam the first ability with luck and the second ability with just good damage is really good. But one thing that you can do with Muichiro is that you can actually get uh, the first ability 50% chance to be 100% chance with the fourth ability. So the fourth ability makes that ability of the first ability 100% of the time. But it also deals damage. So the damage is not the strongest, it's about 100,000 per, but it is a 25 hit combo, so that's 25 million damage. And it's not the fastest, but still pretty good. But then you can spam the first ability uh, and it's going to be 100% time. 100% uh, of the time, you will be able to spam it again and uh, have 50% more damage on the first ability. So basically, it's just uh, spamming the first ability. And the fourth ability actually has okay energy gain. Not the best, I mean, but it's still pretty good. Uh, there are better abilities for energy gain, but that's like maybe not half, but that's like 600, 500 energy from a move. That's pretty good. So Michiro is a spamming character with the first ability. As you can see here, no fourth ability. I could still spam it a lot of times. There once, but yeah, uh, pretty good still. Um, yeah, 
Yep, right. Also, I didn't mention it, but Muichiro also has a speed boost for the third ability. So basically, you can get that speed boost infinitely if you have enough CDR and stuff like that. I will also show the assists, uh, or the, the assist, real quick. So, Muichiro's assist actually gives you 22 uh, critical damage increase as a stat. And the, uh, the cooldown assist is actually 60 seconds, same as Nezuko. I'm gonna compare them too. Nezuko is the strongest D uh, DPS assist. It's a 50 hit combo with each hit being 217,000. Uh, how much is that? 217... No, 217,000 times 50. That is uh, 10 point... No, almost 11 million damage for one assist. Now, Michu is definitely not going to be as strong, but also has a 22% uh, cool, uh, critical damage increase. How much is this? It's about 200,000 per. 200,000 per. Oh, and hit behind you as well. So it's only 200,000 times 25, and that's about 5 million. Half the damage, same cooldown. Even though you get more critical damage, it's not going to be as worth it, I think. Though it depends on how long the uh, cool, uh, crit critical damage is actually going to last for. Maybe it says it uh, on the character for 12 seconds. Actually, that's pretty good. 12 seconds more critical damage. 22% um, of it is actually really good. I do think it might be more worth it than Nezuko. Either way, Awaken assists such as um, Kirito as the they're, they're going to be better as assists. Well, and you can't even get an Ezuko anymore, so he's uh, he's an alright assist. But yeah, let's test Muichiro in a raid. Okay, so right now I'm testing Muichiro and Shadow Monarch in a Mitsuri raid with 100% character buffs. Uh, while using Michiru, Michiru is the main, I use uh, both Mitsuri and uh, Kirito assist. Kirito being uh, having partner because it's the best assist in the game, and Mitsuri because it's a 50% character buff, also with partner. When I use uh, Shadow Monarch, I actually use... Mitsuri and Muichiro just to get the 100% character buff. And first of all, uh, Muichiro is a worse assist than Kirito, so that kind of changes it. And also, I only have part, uh, I only have Celestial and Muichiro and not Partner, which makes it so I only have a 35% team attack buff instead of a 40% team attack buff. Also, Shadow Monarch uh, does need uh, a bit more Wall Strat than Muichiro because he has a lot more dasheth and I didn't use uh, Wall Strat all the time. Well, Muichiro is just fine how he is. Now, this makes the comparison kind of unfair than uh, that Shadow Monarch has a few disadvantages. But just looking at Muichiro, he's doing a lot of damage uh, and the 4th ability isn't really necessary to use all the time because the 4th ability doesn't increase the damage. As long as the 1st ability you get lucky and actually reset either way, then the 4th ability doesn't actually matter. That's why uh, I don't really try to use the 4th ability instantly or all the time. I just try to use as many moves as possible, as fast as possible, but to just get the most amount of damage. Now the 3rd ability is really good to use. It's a lot of damage, quick, and just inflicts a lot of damage at all times, so you can actually get the Celestial Swords uh, instantly. Mushiro is really good in raids, and there is nothing bad about him. You can spam him, he's good late game, early game, you don't have to have good stats to use him. But I did expect more from him, but not when I saw the stats from Shadow Monarch. Muichiro got about 10 point, like 2 billion damage, while you will see, like, Muichiro is really good. Look at this damage. But when I used Shadow Monarch, sure, he had a few disadvantages. Uh, he got less. Shadow Monarch actually got less damage, which is insane. Now, I, later on in the video, I will test them both in a monkey raid with fair comparisons without Shadow Monarch disadvantages, but still, Michiru is really good, close to the best character in the game. Now, when it comes to Dimensions, I didn't try him out a lot. First of all, I haven't really played Dimensions a lot, especially in the past few months. And I haven't really played this specific dimension like at all, so I don't know the speedrun strategies. But well, while using Muichiro, it was really easy because his AoE is good, his damage is good, he also gets pretty good, fast damage, and he has really good mobility with a speed boost and a dash uh, with low cooldowns. 
Now, I didn't really know how to use him, I only tried him out like in three dimensions, but it was still awesome. He was so good either way, and I don't even think I have the best um, assist uh, with this dimension. Still really good, though uh, this was not a good time, I'll explain that later. But as you can see in the dimension, I can basically hit all the enemies at all time. Re time's really, uh, really easy. Uh, it's fast damage and... Either way, like, Michiru has really good AoE, good damage, fast damage, so he can kill all the enemies really fast in all dimensions, combined with the uh, mobility, really good. One thing I do not like with Michiru is how long the fourth ability actually takes to finish, uh, which made him a bit slower than I wanted to, but as you can see, I'm at the boss at 1240. I'm pretty sure I could, could have gotten, like, a, a 1 minute and 30 second time on my, like, third attempt, but this time was like 1 minute and 43 seconds. I am definitely certain that I could have gotten like below 130. And if I actually practice with better assists and practice the dimension, I can probably get close to 120. But the boss actually TP'd really uh, unfortunately there. So I got a bad time. In boss rush, he is really good. He has fast damage with the third ability being a, a very strong move, but taking a long time. So I used that first. I used assist to just get the boss damage. And then I actually use the fourth ability uh, before it dies, just to have it off for the next boss and just instantly kill uh, the second boss. And the for, th for the third boss, I get my third ability up again, I and I hope that I can spam as much as possible. And I actually could. Uh, and with 21 seconds, I actually did do another one with 19 seconds when I actually got the resets for the third boss. But it doesn't really matter, he's really good for uh, boss rush, that's the point. In time challenge, I thought he would be insane, and he kind of was. His third ability is a really good uh, move, like good damage and 100 con hit combo full uh, full around AOE, so you can literally hit the whole map. Though it was a bit slow of killing the enemies, that's what uh, that what uh, that is what made him uh, a bit worse than I thought it would be. His fourth ability is also full around AOE and hits the whole map, so it's really good. Though a bit of startup lag, and uh, compare that uh, and and add that with good assists like uh, accelerator and shadow accelerator with partner, he's really good. You can spam. Uh, these attacks a lot. One move that is dragging him down in time challenge is the second ability. It's not that good. So if I had a better second ability, he would be better. Not a lot better, but he would be better. But either way, Mishiro is really, really good in time challenge. So it's my first attempt. Plus, I haven't played time challenge in a while. So I think if I practiced, I could probably get uh, 1250 with Mishiro. Now I also tried uh, playing Mishiro and Shadowmark in a monkey raid. Now, basically, this requires no wall strat, and I have no character bonuses, I have no assists, I have the same gear, so it's a completely fair comparison. Now, I also want to do it at the same hour, so I didn't do a full raid, so I only did it until I got 1.5 billion damage. I felt like that was pretty fair comparison. Now, both of the raids, I kind of mistimed when the monkey was gonna jump away. So it kind of evens it out as well, but in general, I just try to do my best um, and they both are really good characters, like they both deal a lot of damage. Both of them spam the first ability, has a really strong third ability, uh, the second ability being a bit less important, still good, and the fourth ability being just a boost to boost the first ability. They're kind of the same characters in a way, but in Dimensions, Shadow Monarch is definitely going to beat Michiro because of the dashes. But in general, Michiro is really strong and he got 1.5 billion damage just about in 3 minutes. So that is really, really strong. Shadow Monarch though is slightly stronger. The reason why he got less damage in the previous comparison is because of the disadvantages. And I think, in general, Shadow Monarch is a bit stronger than Michiro. But with the circumstances that there are, uh, the Mitsuri raid having Michiro as a 50% character buff, Michiro is just going to be better uh, as a like reliable character in a Mitsuri raid. I think if you're going to do Mitsuri raid, I think it's just better to use Muichiro rather than Shadow Monarch if you have good stuff. Obviously, if you only have like Muichiro and Shadow Monarch and no other good characters and no good stats, use Shadow Monarch and just Muichiro on the side with as an assist. But if you're going for the meta uh, and going for like world records, uh, the meta is going to be just using 
Muichiro, I think, in Mitsuri Raid. But yeah, Shadow Murak seems to be a slightly stronger just in general and much better in dimensions and everything like that. But Michiru is probably still like one of the best characters in the game. I would probably say he's one of the god tiers. Shadow Mona just got it slightly faster. So that's basically it. In my opinion, you should probably be able to buy this character if you don't have enough Robux for like Shadow Monarch. Sure, like probably Shadow Monarch is better uh, for like overall and probably in raid as well. But Michiru is really good like in everything as well. Michiro is really good as an assist, as a main, in every single game mode, literally every game mode, unlike Shadow Monarch, which is not good in like uh, time challenge. Michiro is good as in every game mode. I think if you only have 2500 Robux, you should buy Michiro. If you have 4500 Robux, you can buy Shadow Monarch, but Michiro is 2000 Robux cheaper and not too much worse. Uh, yeah, Michiro is really good. So I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one.